my heart is single towards him. I want to know the Holy Ghost more than anything, and my heart is single towards knowing him. Would that benefit anyone? Especially in this dispensation. Yeah, because he's God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words, speaking in agreement with his words. You get this. Yes. Now, a lot of people have never heard that. And faith comes by here. How can they have faith to walk with God in the earth today by saying words unless somebody says it to them? Mm -hmm. Particularly a preacher. Yes. So we have this message. We've been preaching this message. It's taken quite a while to get here. Well, we did get here, but it's really good to know how you got here so you know that you want the ground that you're standing on is solid ground. Yeah. It's solid word. Because he is God in the earth today. Mm -hmm. uh, Acts chapter 24, verse 14. But this I confess unto thee, that after the way in which they call heresy, so worship I the God of my fathers. You got people that were calling Paul's way heresy, you know, they were calling Paul's ways here just like they would be calling our way heresy for worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today they go oh that's radical that's too far out there well no that's really what your Bible is saying to you yes. that after the way which they call heresy so worship I say worship I worship so I. we're talking about worshiping God here in a way that other people would call heresy you, you want to just you want to make the hairs go up on somebody else's back back of their neck just say I worship the Holy Ghost and those words are so foreign to them that it will literally raise the hair on the back of their necks then it goes on to say believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets do we believe that yeah and in and in the, the modern day prophets or in the New Testament we believe all of those things we've come to this culmination of believing that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today because of all of those things are you here yeah. And so now we worship God in a way that others would call heresy. We worship God the Holy Ghost. Verse 16, and herein do I exercise myself, meaning I exercise myself in this worship of God to have always a conscious void of offense towards God and towards men. So how we got here makes a big difference because then you can know the ground that you're standing on is solid ground. Go to John. And you know that having been brought here, this is a big part of the message that we have. So you don't want to sit there and go, oh, well, I've heard this before. A lot of people haven't heard it before. And sometimes it takes a lot, a lot of hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing before you get it. Mm -hmm. Right? Because there's a lot of people that just don't get it even though you say it to them. Mm -hmm. Are you here? It might even have taken you a while to get it. it. Took me a while to get it. But we're here now. Oh, glory be to God forever. John chapter 16 let's just read verse 7 nevertheless I tell you the truth this is Jesus talking red letters nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away who said this Jesus, Jesus said this that is profitable or expedient for you that he goes away when will it be profitable for you when he goes away when he goes away not that they didn't like him right but he says it's gonna be more expedient more profitable for you when say when when, when I go away well does Jesus eventually go away yes. we'll get to that in a minute but he says nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter will not come so if Jesus didn't do what he said he was going to do and go away in the way he was planning on going away, the comforter would not come. Mm -hmm. Won't. Are you here? Yes. Was that some pressure on Jesus? Yes. Yeah, because he, he wanted to come. That was the whole plan was for the comforter to come. Uh -huh. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. Sending means he must be somewhere else in order to send him. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Say, Jesus, Jesus must, be must be somewhere else, somewhere else. In, order to send in order to send him. him. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just see if this happened. Let's go to Acts chapter 1. 
Acts chapter 1 verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld who was beholding him people the disciples natural disciples meaning they were looking at him Jesus was there saying things they were looking at him while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight he went up and re was received out of their sight in a cloud verse 10 and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up so he went up behold two men stood by them oh right there all of a sudden in white apparel which also said ye men of Galilee why stand you gazing up into where heaven. into heaven is this in your Bible yes. yes so they were gazing up into heaven these angels obviously two men I'm assuming they're angels which said you men of Galilee why stand you gazing up into heaven this same Jesus which is taken up from you into what heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven are you here yes. how's he gonna come in the same way in a cloud and coming down and we'll all behold him right yes. did that happen yet no. has Jesus returned yet no. so according to your Bible the one we preach out of the one we believe Jesus went up into heaven and has not yet come out of heaven right and what did he say when he did when he got there what he was he gonna do he was gonna send mm -hmm. the another and we all know that over in Acts chapter 2 this actually happened Acts chapter 2 verse 2 and suddenly there came a sound from where a sound from heaven are you here you see a pattern here a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind it filled all the house where they were sitting where were they sitting were they on earth or in heaven no the sound came from heaven and they were in a house on earth mm -hmm. say in a house, in a house. On, earth. on earth so this sound came in right rushing mighty wind it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance where is the Holy Ghost now he's in the earth where is Jesus still in heaven where's the father in heaven because Jesus went to sit at his right hand I don't have time to take you to all those scriptures mm -hmm. well we have three persons of the Godhead the Father Son and Holy Ghost and one of them say one of them one of them, one of them is in the earth and one of them is in his dispensation in the earth it's his time everything revolves around what he's doing but everything revolves around what he's doing now I was thinking about this too because you have certain times where Jesus appeared to people you remember any of these Jesus appeared to, I was thinking of Paul for instance you know Jesus appeared to Paul a couple times he even mentions that it happened more than once he'd seen the Lord well what about that well will Jesus not the right hand of it no if Jesus appeared say appeared appeared, appeared to anybody and could still happen today it would still be by a vision a gift or a mechanism of the Holy Ghost because it's the Holy Ghost's dispensation and Jesus won't override that every time that Jesus appeared to anybody would simply be in a vision and what is a vision it is a gift of the Spirit particularly the discerning of spirits or seeing into the Spirit well why didn't Jesus physically because he can't according to his word because his word is not a lie and he has not come yet this same Jesus has not come yet so we're in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost and if someone sees a vision of Jesus then it is through a gift of the Holy Ghost are you getting this do you know I've never heard that said anywhere in any of the churches I've been in ever and I've been in a lot and I've heard a lot of people I've studied a lot read a lot of books mm -hmm. now they will talk about visions they will talk about yes I read those books too but 
the point is they've never specifically said that because they talk about Jesus being able to just show up whenever he wants to he can't or he would be cross rise cross wise with his word mm -hmm. he has to appear via a vision by a gift of the Spirit or through the power of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. Acts 26 this is Paul talking about when Jesus appeared to him and he says in verse 19 whereupon O King Agrippa I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision it was a vision mm -hmm. are you here because mm -hmm. people say oh well Jesus appeared to Saul <laughs> Jesus did this Jesus did that Jesus in a vision did it by the power of the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today all right if it wasn't that way then it would be out of order and it would be against the dispensation that we're in isn't it good to know the dispensation you're in it 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 straightens so many things out because we're leaving Jesus where he's supposed to be the father where he's supposed to be and now the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today first Corinthians chapter 2 4 my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration or an open show of the spirit and of power his speech and his preaching were not in enticing words of man's wisdom but were in words of demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men but in the power of God so what is your faith supposed to be in your faith is supposed to be in the spirit and in his power according to these verses of scripture your faith or your religion or your belief system is supposed to be in the spirit and his power my faith is supposed to be in the spirit the Holy Ghost and his power well that sounds different than what I was taught because you're reading it through a religious mechanism rather than looking at how this is that your faith is that there yes. your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men your faith should stand in the power of God the Holy Ghost and his power well, wouldn't that make sense if the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he's the only they only, only the only part of the Godhead who is in the earth it's his dispensation he's in the earth our faith should be in him and his power say my faith, my faith is, in is in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost and, his power. and his power that's your faith and he wrote, wrote the Bible isn't that convenient mm -hmm. second Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9 for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth whose eyes would this specifically necessarily be then the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is running to and fro throughout the whole earth because that's who's in the earth to show himself right? right to reveal himself why is he running around to reveal himself strong in behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards somebody else no, no. he will reveal himself and show himself in power on behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards him now our faith is to be in the spirit and his power he's going to show himself in power reveal himself in power to those whose heart is perfect towards him what do you mean perfect towards him I meaning your heart is set on him him who him the Holy Ghost are you here mm -hmm. now this word perfect you know we 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 kind of think some things about it it literally means single your heart is single towards him say I only have a heart for him <laughs> see your heart is singular towards him now it's like the opposite of half-hearted you ever heard of people that are half-hearted they're not wholehearted towards him they're half-hearted towards him they're like eh I could do with it could do without it how many churches could do or do without the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. yeah we don't need any of that Holy Ghost stuff sanctified holiness consecrated towards him single towards 
him you're in the earth he's in the earth he's God and your heart should be single towards him you can see how this is completely radical to most people mm -hmm. but there's something about God where he doesn't like half-hearted anything do you know that about God God doesn't like half-hearted anything he said if you're lukewarm he vomits that kind of thing out of his mouth right yes. people that are half-hearted well I'm not looking for a way to get out of it I'm looking for a way forward to get farther into the things of God people are always trying to find the easy way out they're not gonna find it they're not gonna have him revealing himself to them in power mm -hmm. because their heart is not single towards him that's what I'm trying to get across here some are unwilling to go to the next level the next place they don't want to go there they've had enough so they quit are these the kind of people that are gonna go there is this a person that's wholehearted towards God is this a person who's single towards God is this a person who God's gonna reveal himself to no there's something about God where he doesn't like half-hearted anything but he shows himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are single towards him him who the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today when your heart is single towards him I want you Holy Ghost I need you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and that's what worship does almost better than anything else is when you say I worship you Holy Ghost your heart becomes single towards him yeah Holy Ghost Woo! Exodus 34 you there mm -hmm. verse 14 for thou shalt worship some other gods wait thou shalt worship say worship worship no other God for the Lord whose name is jealous his name is jealous is a jealous God <laughs> is the Holy Ghost jealous yes is his name jealous yes is he a jealous God mm -hmm. is he in the earth yes who should you worship yes. him. him the Lord our God our heart should be single towards him are you getting this mm -hmm. and have no other gods before me a lot of put people put just about everything before God and if they got some time left over well maybe we'll do some God well that's not the way it works God doesn't take kindly to that and you don't get you don't get where you need to be so let's continue with that and go to Luke Luke chapter 4 verse 5 the devil takes him up into a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time verse 7 if thou wilt worship me all shall be thine and Jesus answered and said unto them unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt what worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve because worship is one of the mechanisms that gives you the wealth and the power and the glory it gets on you when you worship God and Jesus answered and said unto him get thee behind me Satan for it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him what only, only shalt thou serve so if I have this in my Bible which I do I'm supposed to worship the Lord my God and him only do I serve if the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he is who's the Lord your God the Holy, Ghost. the Holy Ghost and who only should you be serving the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. he's not gonna go crosswise with Jesus he's not gonna go crosswise with the Father get it straight and we have to be single in our desire towards him our heart has to be perfect towards him for him to reveal himself in the way he wants to worship the Lord your God and him only so I only worship you Holy Ghost now that sounds strange it'll sound really strange to people's ears that haven't come to this place where we're supposed to be at but when I say I only worship the Holy Ghost I mean that all the things that I do are worshiping the Holy Ghost it encompasses more than just me using the words I worship you Holy Ghost yes you should use those words God is a spirit they that worship him worship him in spirit and truth remember that 
John 4 24 Philippians 3 3 says we're of the, the circumcision that worship God in the spirit so when I say I only worship the Holy Ghost my giving is out of worship my confession is out of worship to the Holy Ghost you see how my heart when I'm starting to think this way my heart is perfect or single towards him I'm not confused my heart is single towards the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today my confession is out of worship to him when I give it's out of worship towards him mm -hmm. when I pray pray in tongues the Bible says he that speaks in an unknown tongues speaks not unto men but unto God, God. how be it in the spirit you're uttering mysteries so you're communing with the Holy Ghost when I pray in tongues my I am uh, that that's part of my worship to God you understand my heart is single towards him I'm worshiping God all day every day I get up in the morning I pray in tongues I say I worship you Holy Ghost when I say I worship you Holy Ghost I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost my heart's single towards him when I pray in tongues it's an act of worship when I give it's an act of worship to the Holy Ghost how about when I fast fasting is an act of worship my heart is single towards him I want to know the Holy Ghost more than anything and my heart is single towards knowing him and he is God in the earth today is this making sense yes. would that benefit anyone yeah. mm -hmm. especially in this dispensation mm -hmm. yeah because he's God in the earth today first Corinthians 3 16 you getting anything out of this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope so because he says the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose ours heart is single towards him I'm trying to show you how to be single towards him first you got to know who him is mm -hmm. bad English but you understand who is him him is the Holy Ghost my heart has to be single towards him the Holy Ghost you know who's happy about this message the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. know you not that you are the temple of God so what are you according to this verse of Scripture you are the temple of God God who the maybe he'll say something about that oh and the Spirit of God dwells in you right there you're the temple of the Spirit of God what should a temple be singularly for should we play basketball in it no. I'm talking about you know if there were a natural temple and you understand right. that you as a temple of God should be single towards the worship of God that's in you whose temple you are mm -hmm. does this make sense so when I pray my house is the house of prayer when I pray I'm praying in worship to God because prayer is part of worship is this making sense yes. when I fast I'm fasting as part of worship to God because I'm a temple of God and I'm single towards him you see this mm -hmm. he's God in the earth today well where is he in the earth he done looked around eyes to and fro and found you now you got to be single towards him to have his power manifest mm -hmm. so I'm a temple of God everything I do is an act of worship I should put it this everything I do should be an act of worship because I'm the temple so my giving is an act of worship my confession is an act of worship my praying in the Holy Ghost is an act of worship my fasting is an act of worship frankly everything that you do should be single towards him well I don't like it that way it sounds too restrictive no it's it's freeing and you know him as Lord right mm -hmm. now the Lord is that spirit where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom it's not bondage there's freedom freedom like you've never known because now you're in his way Amen. Romans chapter 12 mm -hmm. verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your body why would I present my body to God because it's the temple and what am I going to be doing with this their body as a temple I'm gonna be worshiping God and everything I do should be singly towards that end is this making sense I beseech you that present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto somebody God who 
why would he God why would it be God the Holy Ghost he's the one in the earth he's the one that is in your temple that you're presenting your body to as an act of worship right living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and these two words are translated in other things spiritual worship mm -hmm. so when I do my confessions what am I doing I'm using my this this temple mm -hmm. as an act of worship to confess the things that God said about me mm -hmm. same thing when I'm giving when I'm praying when I'm fasting verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you say me, me that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God now remember we read that word perfect back in the Old Testament same thing we need to be singly towards the Holy Ghost now are we all there yet of course not but should we be going there yes. we shouldn't be half-hearted about it we shouldn't be falling off we should be taking the next step to go there mm -hmm. say this I'm, I'm taking, taking the next, the next steps, steps, steps to go there, to go there. and then what's the Holy Ghost going to be able to do manifest himself show himself strong on your behalf we're all going on to the perfect will of God and it requires a change in our thinking and you can't get there if you haven't gone to here first but you can get there from here mm -hmm. you should be excited about it say I can get there, I can get from, there. Here. from here knowing God, knowing God, as, God as God the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost in the earth today the earth and, worshiping him. and worshiping him Holy Ghost I pray for these people I ask you to quicken this message to them that all the things in their life in their body in their mind and those things that you count precious those things that you could then use to bring them closer to you I thank you Holy Ghost that you're moving upon them right now and quickening them according to your will your plan and your word I thank you for it in Jesus name Amen